Oh, who are you? You're not a puppet. Are you here to listen to my music? I can't sing anymore. This petrification disease took away my songs. Riddles. I was fooled by him. He said this place was a shelter. Patricia, I'm so sorry. Oh, Patricia, I'm parched. Just a taste of fruit. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is the sweetest apple I've ever had. I can't stop death from taking me. But I have enough strength to confess my sins. Can you listen to my last confession? Patricia, I coveted your voice. If I can't match it, then even if I have to break you, Adelina Corday must have it all. I know it's wrong. But still, I love you. <laughs> I know it's...
Impossible! You defeated the king! I gotta think the puppets will have changed too, right? There's only one way to find out. Let's go backstage. I'm glad you're safe. I was so scared I would lose my precious son. It's risky for me just being out here. Fortunately, you didn't need my help. I'm so proud that I got to see my son defeat the king. Hopefully the lesser puppets will die down soon. Now that the king is dead, the puppets have no leader, no direction. But the curse of the petrification disease still lingers. It's tough, but I know where you should go now. The Grand Exhibition. Rumors say the alchemists there have developed a cure. As a man of invention, I'm skeptical of the alchemists, both their science and their motives. But they may be the city's last hope. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. If it will help Antonia and the others, it's worth exploring. Go to the Grand Exhibition and see what you can find. That one puppet could control so many others. That's a memorable feat indeed. Unlike a real king, the puppet left no heir. The remaining puppets are leaderless, and we can reclaim the city. But it's still a city beset by the petrification disease. Seek a cure from the alchemists at the Grand Exhibition. The one puppet... My melody. This is her wedding ring. Our marriage should have been filled with joy. I failed you, Melody. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned she's a puppet. But she was real to me. I saw a shining soul inside her. Others laughed at me, but I knew the truth. I knew that she was in love with me too. Maybe I'm crazy though. Who ever heard of a human and a puppet in love? Oh, melody. My melody. Your words were everything to me. She was my guardian angel. The reason I survived the Krat disaster. Even puppets have hearts, do they not? Perhaps all we need is something that helps us perceive what they're feeling. <sighs> Sorry. I ramble when I get upset. Here's your reward. 
I think you deserve this ring more than I do. I'm more than happy with Melody's belongings. I wish I could offer something more, but this is all I have. Please, remember the love Melody and I shared. Who knows? Maybe you'll find true love one day, too. She was my one... Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I... Adore, Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? It exists indeed. An un... 
unbelievable love, to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty. The very reason I was created. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? Antonia's condition is getting worse. I knew it would come to this. The petrification disease locks people inside a cage, inside their own bodies. We're all safe, thanks to her sacrifice. But I wish for a miracle to save everyone. Me as well. I'll use my power to help. At the house of Anini. Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the Puppets appear lost without their leader. They have no purpose, no focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppet's ergo waves while you're defeating them. I always welcome... More than a puppet. Almost human. If this is what you want, just keep behaving. Keep feeling like a human does. You might just hold the true secret of Ergo. I'll use my power to... No matter what they serving her, welcome to... House of Anini, even priceless things have. Master Vanini carefully curated this collection box himself. With it, you have returned to us what was stolen. You have our gratitude. The House of Vanini always keeps a few special items in the private reserve, sir. Only for our more discerning patrons, of course. I always welcome friends. No trouble at all. I almost consider it my oldest hobby. Trust me, I won't let you down. There we are. A deciphered cipher just like... Well, just like I used to make. 
If you ever need me to help you decode another message, I'm at your service.